It's two o'clock in the morning. You awaken from your sleep and walk downstairs because you are thirsty and want to sip some water. You grab your water bottle and begin drinking when something moves quickly from behind you. Your mind begins to wander as you sit in the dark, wrapped in a cloud of tiredness and worry. You try to stay attentive by focusing on your surroundings, but it's a losing struggle. Every sound seems exaggerated, and every shadow appears to be a possible danger. And then, in a flash, you see it a dark shape slinking along the wall. Your heart jumps out of your chest, and you strain to get a better look. But it's gone before you can even process what you saw. Your mind races, trying to rationalize the experience. Was it just your imagination? A trick of the light? But deep down, you know it was something more. Something sinister. As the silence stretches on, your fear builds into a palpable thing that settles over you like a heavy blanket. You can feel a presence in the room with you, an evil force that feeds on your terror. And then, a low growl broke the silence, filling the room with a sense of menace and danger. Your heart races, pounding against your chest like a trapped animal. You want to run, to escape, but your limbs are frozen, unresponsive. The growling grows louder and closer until it's all you can hear. You can feel its breath on your skin, hot and fetid, and you know it's only a matter of time before it strikes. And then, with a sudden burst of motion, it lunges at you from the shadows. You scream a sound that's drowned out by its fury and hunger. You try to fight and resist, but it's too powerful and overwhelming. And then, mercifully, everything goes black. The last thing you see is a pair of glowing eyes, filled with malice and hunger, staring down at you from the darkness. As you lay in the dark, you couldn't help but wonder what had just happened. Was it all just a nightmare, a figment of your imagination? You had always heard stories about shadow people, but never believed in them until now. Your heart was still racing, and your palms were slick with sweat. You knew you couldn't just brush this off as nothing. You needed answers. You needed to know what was lurking in the shadows. You decided to do some research to see if anyone else had experienced anything similar and what you found chilled you to the bone. As you read the stories, a chill runs down your spine. These first-hand accounts of encounters with the shadow people are enough to make even the bravest of souls tremble with fear. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Don't Freak Out covers paranormal and unexplained stories. If you enjoy these videos, please hit the like, subscribe, and bell icons to be notified of new content. To my return viewers, welcome back. You know the drill. Sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and enjoy today's video. One story about shadow people, in particular, stands out. It involves a woman who had a chilling encounter with a shadow person while driving home one night. As she approached a bend in the road, she saw a dark figure step out in front of her car. She slammed on the brakes, her heart pounding in her chest. The figure was human-like, but its body appeared to be made entirely of shadow. Its eyes glowed a deep amber, and for a moment, the woman couldn't move couldn't breathe, couldn't think. Was this a hallucination, a trick of the light, or was it something else entirely? She watched as the figure stared at her for what felt like an eternity, and she knew she would never forget this moment for as long as she lived. That as the figure began to move towards her car, its shadowy form undulating like smoke, she knew that this was no hallucination. The woman was frozen with fear, unable to move as the shadowy figure stared at her for what felt like an eternity. According to another story, everything changed for one woman on an average September night. At 3.18 a.m., 
When the darkness got darker and the secrets came to life, she met the unknown. That evening, she fell asleep with the TV on. As she woke up a little after 3 a.m., she was surrounded by a strange haze left over from her dreams. But there was something wrong. She realized that she couldn't move because she was frozen. Her eyes went to the closed bedroom door where she saw an ominous shadow man with a hood. She tried to scream for help out of fear, but nothing came out. The room felt like it was closing in on her and she couldn't do anything to stop it. The shadow man charged at her, terrifying her. She shut her eyes, hoping to stop the fear, but it continued silently. Finally, everything came to an abrupt stop. She screamed for help, but no one heard her. Afterward, she told others in the house about her experience to see if anyone else had gone through what she did, but no one believed her. The whole thing had been written off as a dream. She wanted to know the truth. By rewinding a TV show, she found a shocking link. The appearance of the shadow man occurred at the same time as a terrible accident. The accident wasn't a dream, which shattered the idea that her frightening experience was. But she felt alone and had to deal with the fact that her story would be questioned. She wanted people to understand her and admit that the shadow man was real and scary. Until that day comes, she will carry the weight of the extraordinary encounter, a testament to a phantom figure lurking in the darkness, waiting for those brave enough to believe. Across the internet, people describe encounters with tall, dark figures that leave them feeling helpless and terrified. These shadows have an otherworldly power over those who encounter them, inspiring a fear that's impossible to shake. But why do they appear? And what do they want? These mysterious beings are shrouded in darkness as if the absence of light itself has taken form. Their features are veiled, hidden in the depths of their shadowy essence, clothes and facial details all obscured by the impenetrable cloak of darkness. They emerge before you, a hauntingly humanoid presence seemingly constructed from the very shadows themselves. Size knows no bounds for these mysterious entities. They can appear as tall as an adult, looming over the room, or as small as a child, evoking both curiosity and dread. You may catch them lurking in the corners, their ethereal forms effortlessly gliding through solid walls, defying the laws of our world. And once you've noticed their presence, be prepared, for they move with an alarming swiftness, disappearing in the blink of an eye. The shadows they cast can take different forms, at times appearing solid and impenetrable, while in other instances, resembling elusive tendrils of swirling smoke. The true nature remains elusive as if they exist on the fringes of our understanding. Although encounters with shadow people often occur at the periphery of our vision, be wary, for fate may conspire to bring you face to face with these enigmatic beings. One chilling detail that consistently emerges from encounters with shadow people is their glowing red eyes. Like fiery embers amidst the darkness, their eyes pierce through the veil, evoking a sense of unease that tingles down your spine. It's a reminder that these entities possess an otherworldly presence, an aura of mystery that defies rational explanation. When explaining the nature of shadow people, one popular belief suggests they could be interdimensional beings. This notion often intertwines with ideas about aliens. Some propose that aliens are already present on Earth, disguising themselves as shadow people. Others speculate that aliens exist in a different dimension, and the shadows we perceive are glimpses of their interdimensional movements. Similarly, theories involving astral beings and time travelers suggest that these shadows may be astral projections or individuals who have traversed through dimensions. The exact mechanism by which these beings slip through dimensions remains a mystery. 
There are countless reports of shadowy figures appearing in broad daylight, and many people claim they can feel dark energy emanating from them. Some even believe these figures are evil entities that feed off human fear and negative emotions. What should you do if you see a shadow person? If you ever find yourself catching glimpses of eerie black shadows in the corner of your room, don't jump to conclusions just yet. It could simply be innocent shadows cast by mundane objects. However, if your nocturnal encounters involve an overwhelming sense of dread and fear, coupled with the sight of mysterious figures lurking in the shadows and the unsettling feeling of being unable to move, then you might be experiencing something more than mere shadows. You could be caught in the grip of a night terror. But fear not, for night terrors, though utterly terrifying, are actually harmless. If you can muster the strength, try wiggling your little finger or toe, and you will gradually free yourself from the clutches of paralysis. As for the nature of these shadow figures, it remains an enigma. They could be ghosts or spirits, astral travelers exploring other dimensions, time travelers slipping through the fabric of time, or perhaps even extraterrestrial beings disguising themselves in shadowy form. They might encompass all these possibilities and more. The truth is, you'll never truly know if that fleeting shadow in the corner of your eye was just an innocent play of light or an elusive shadow figure, forever keeping you on the edge of uncertainty.